Thresh, the Chain Warden, is perhaps the most versatile support in League of Legends. He's a utility based support who has excellent crowd control to either disengage a fight or to lock down enemy champion or champions as hard engage. He can be used to initiate team fights or create a solo pick. Let's take a look at Thresh's abilities. Thresh's passive allows him to collect souls that increase his AP and armor. These souls will drop randomly from enemy minions and always from enemy champions or large neutral monsters when they die. Thresh's Q, Death Sentence, is a long range hook that upon connecting with an enemy will start to pull them towards Thresh. If Thresh casts it again, he pulls himself to the hook target. Thresh's W, Dark Passage, is a lantern that Thresh can throw out to shield nearby allies who, if they click on it, will pull them to Thresh's location and reapply the shield. I'm I live! Uh, flash. Thresh's E, Play, is an area of effect displacement that can be cast to either push enemies away or move them in closer. After the displacement, it applies a slow. It also comes with a passive that charges up Thresh's basic attacks with AP and his soul count. Thresh's ultimate is the box, where he summons five walls around him that deal magic damage and apply a heavy slow to the first enemy champion that walks through them. Thresh can use his own abilities, or other champions can use their abilities to displace enemies into the walls of the box to apply the damage in the slow. Due to the large amount of utility in Thresh's kit, he is able to have a range of playstyles, even within the same game. In lane phase, it is possible to zone effectively and aggressively with just the threat of his hook. When going for hooks in lane, it is sometimes better to walk up and flay the enemy champion towards you first. The resulting slow and closer distance make it much easier to hit the hook. And in certain cases, will even force a flash from just the flay alone so you can keep the hook off cooldown to be used on somebody else. When getting engaged on in lane phase, Flay can be used to interrupt dashes and jumps off hard engages, such as Leona E, Alistair, Headbutt, or the Lee Sin second part of his Q. The Lantern allows for rapid reposition of your ADC to quickly move them out of the way of skill shots or out of the way of damage to continue the trade and flat out disengage. Thresh is also able to play very defensively in lane phase as he can sit further back and use the lantern to pull people out. He can also flash to increase the distance that the lantern will travel. If you have lane priority or your ADC is able to do well in lane on their own, a very viable strategy for Thresh is to support the jungler on an invade or to roam to gank another lane or secure a map objective. Outside of lane phase, Thresh excels at working well with DPS members of the team to create picks and secure vision around key objectives. But all of his abilities can be used through the wall with if he can pull himself through with his Q or pull other people over walls and hard terrain with his W. His E is also thicker than most walls, so you can sometimes flay people across a wall, such as Baron Pit or Dragon Pit. Due to the large amount of CC and lockdown, he can be very effective to engage either a full team fight or a large long range pick that he can make with his Q, using Flay and the box to keep the target controlled and using the lantern to get allies in to help with the fight. Builds on Thresh vary, with some players liking Ancient Coin and some liking Relic Shield and even a small few liking Spell Thief Search. It is possible to use all three based on preference and each excel in certain situations. My personal favourite and go-to is Relic Shield, as it provides healing in lane phase and is a solid choice for a more tanky build. With the bonus health and the heals allowing Thresh to take a bit more punishment in lane and aggressively trade, Relic Shield is very good in matchups where you can walk up and last hit the farm safely, or where you need more healing to keep your ADC in the lane. For example, in lanes against other melee supports, such as Leona and Alistair, it is easier to get the charges off and the tankiness helps with the trade. Similarly, if your ADC is in a mobile ADC, such as Jin, and they are likely to get poked a lot, then the heal can help keep them in lane, and Relic is, in my opinion, a better choice. Ancient Coin is the other typical starting item for Thresh, and is very good for mana sustain in lane, and relatively safe consistent income. The mana coin dropped allows Thresh to have a, be a bit more liberal with his abilities, and can create more opportunities for hooks in lane. Coin's other advantage is that you don't have to last hit to get the gold. 
which is very good if you're in a lane versus longer range pokes, poor ADC combos, such as Lulu, Brand, or Bard. The bonus movement speed also makes it slightly easier to dodge skill shots, at the cost of the health. If you're new to Thresh and haven't really got the hang of last hitting with him yet consistently, then I recommend the Ancient Coin until you learn. It is also the most consistent gold generation item in the game, with most coins upgrading at about 10 minutes, providing you upgrade it to the second tier relatively quickly. Spell Thief's Edge is easily the least picked starting item for Thresh, but it does have uses in matchups where you want to play extremely aggressively, as the bonus damage can help you set up early kills, and if you play aggressively enough, it can be the best gold generation item of the three. Picking this item is very good into double melee lanes, where you have a clear advantage early on. Masteries on Thresh are again as variable as his starting items. Most commonly, you see a Resolve Primary and then an Inspiration Secondary Tree, with either Aftershock or Guardian being the main picks, but even Grasp of the Undying can be useful. Aftershock, in my opinion, is the best, as in most cases, it is very easy to activate, as two of his abilities activate it, and the bonus resistances allows Thresh to dive into the fight and not be instantly burst out, with the damage afterwards being very useful in the early game, because when you hit a Q and then flay them onto you, pretty much guarantees that the uh, aftershock proc is going to go off. Guardian is a very solid defensive pick as the shielding and movement speed are very good for disengaging and sponging skill shots in lane phase. Like Ancient Coin, this master is very good for into poke lanes where you'll be playing more defensively. Grasp of the Undying is very good in the same kind of lanes as Spell Thief's Edge where you'll be auto attack harassing a lot as the bonus damage and health do stack up and help scare Thresh into later parts of the game and they are very good for trading in lane. The rest of the build on Thresh is a fairly standard support build. Mobility boots are a must and allow Thresh to roam very effectively, either for the vision or to help other parts of the map and in order to make a pick. Zeke's Convergence is very popular and very strong at the moment, as it pretty much fills the interior of the box with another AoE slow and helps boost your ADC's damage in the fights. Knight's Vow is good to help provide more defense for your ADC and a little bit more just for you. Also, Redemption is very good for the healing and damage it provides to both teams in the team fight. Frozen Heart enables a much safer dive onto the backline, as the armor and attack speed debuff make you take a lot less damage. Late game's items on Thresh are very dependent on how the game is shaping up. Some recommendations are Righteous Glory, Shirelli's Reverie, and Randuin's Omen for late game, as extra mobility and slows are very useful for Thresh. Even things such as a Banshee's Veil or an Adaptive Helm help protect him from magic damage and keep him tanky and in the fight. Overall, Thresh is one of my favourite supports as he is able to be picked into most matchups and at the least fare relatively well. He is a must-have in any support champion pool and I would strongly suggest him to anybody new to the role. Thank you for watching and if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like or a comment and if you want to see more, please subscribe for more mediocre content. Yeah, I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest. I just wanna be the